It's news time. Information is power. The current. The news headline. Major reason why federal government may not consider negotiation from the indigenous people of Biafra has advised by Okezi Ikbiazo. Amidst the spate of acute secessionist movements in the southeastern region of the country, the incumbent governor of Abia State, Okezi Ikbiazo, has weighed in on the possible measures the federal government could, uh, could take in the fight against secessionist attacks. While speaking with Vanguard newspaper, the governor noted that the relevance of negotiation in conflict resolution he established the need for the federal uh, government to reach out to the members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and identify their basic reasons for agitation. It could be re recalled that the operatives of the indigenous people of Biafra has been heavily linked to the ongoing attacks on security apparatuses. Within the southern, uh, southeastern region, in a newsp recent newspaper uh, report, by the Vanguard newspaper, about 175 people, including security agents, that have been mined in about 72 attacks within the region. Significantly, these killings increased with the compulsory stay at home order by the members of the indigenous people of Biafra to arrest the heightening insecurity challenges in the region. The Nigerian military recently launched exercise Golden Dawn in the southeastern region. The Golden Dawn is taxed with the responsibility of combating insecurity within the region and return normalcy to the nooks and crannies of the region. And recently, the operatives recorded a monumental successes in their first gun duel against the unknown gunmen. In all these crises, the operatives of the IPOB have been heavily identified as primary suspects and a good number of stakeholders in the region have always come up with strategies on how to curb insecurity within the region. Notably, Okezie Ikbiazu has added negotiation to the increasing list of options. Unfortunately, the tendencies of the federal government engaging the indigenous people of Biafra in a roundtable discussion might not be visible. The federal government have already proscribed the IPOB as a terrorist organization. It is inconceivable how the federal government will engage a group which is identified as a secessionist group uh, to a roundtable discussion and their recent suspected activities of the IPOP and their armed group Eastern Security Network have left a lot undesired. Most importantly, the federal government may not find it necessary to negotiate with a group that threatens the unity and peace of the country and therefore negotiation could have been considered if only the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, are agitating against marginalization and corruption, but their movement for secession has eliminated the whole idea of negotiation. Regarding the unity and progress of Nigeria, secessionist movement cannot be tolerated as it has been a catalyst for disruption of public order, the analyst says. The Nigerian government is in the best position uh, to make sure that there, all these agitations are minimal because the uh, it has become you know a crime to display support or agitate for the mission of the country, whether Biafra, Urdua, or Arewa Nation, as it was said that the IPOP has been declared a proscribed uh, terrorist organization by the Nigerian government, and this is just the analysis you know coming around that the uh, flaunting of the Biafra regalia should actually be on hold because this is uh, what the federal government is frowning at, and Chiweta Luagu and some others, uh, the elderly woman that was caught, and some others that have seen flown to the Biafra, uh, you know, regalia, are actually trying to incite uh, more controversies at a time that the country's unity is fragile and also there have been topsy turvy around. However, the lawyer of Mazin and the Kanu is actually against this and has condemned the arrest of the DSS and the military. Ijo for said that the arrest of Agu by the secret police was an indication of how the Nigerian security agents are desecrating the Southeast. The Nigerian army had arrested the Nollywood actor for donning a Biafra regalia in Onisha, Anambra State, 
and Hagu was arrested on Thursday in Upper Iweka Bridge by soldiers while carrying out a charity exercise. He was, however, released by the Nigerian Army and shortly afterwards rearrested re by the DSS operatives on Friday. Reacting to the development, Ejo for called for the immediate release and unconditional release of the 65-year-old actor. He charged the military to apologize to Agu for violating his fundamental human rights. In a statement he issued on Saturday, Ijo for said, I was shocked to watch a respected elder, a widely celebrated Nollywood veteran actor, who has creditably dis distinguished himself in the industry being dehumanized and treated like a common criminal. If I may ask what offense has Agu committed to warrant being subjected to such humiliation, torture, inhumane treatment and degradation by those who know little or nothing about our laws. Can these untamed men, recklessly abusing their offices, tell us why they are desecrating our elders and by extension the sacred land of our ancestors? Unfortunately, disturbing information reaching him uh, hours ago is that Chiweta Luagu has been rearrested by the DSS. We hereby demand for the immediate and unconditional release of Chief Chiwetalu Agu from the custody of the DSS, uh, Ijo for added. And this was after it was analyzed why Chiwetalu Agu shouldn't have interfered, uh, why the International Amnesty and other bodies may not interfere in the affairs of Chiwetalu Agu. The reason why the Amnesty International and um, some other bodies that the people have been calling on to, to show their solidarity in showing displeasure against the military people that actually harassed Chiweta Luagu because he was putting on you know, the, uh, the, the regalia of the indigenous people of Biafra and actually that, uh, that was actually supposed to be a freedom on his own side but because the Nigerian government has declared the indigenous people of Biafra as uh, you know, a terrorist group and uh, therefore the Amnesty International or the United States thereabouts, even the United Nations and the likes, may not you know, interfere in this matter because uh, if they do so, uh, then they will be violating the Nigerian law and also the United Nations law. And um, until they actually discover uh, that there is an evidence where the military officers abused Chiweta Luagu, then there is nothing uh, to talk about in, in, in terms of saying that they abused him, you know, nothing to prove uh, such a claim, and that the Nigerian agent, uh, security agencies has the right you know, to invite and arrest anyone in the country for the purpose of investigation. And there was a writer too who was trying to analyze uh, the reasons why uh, Chiweta Luagu shouldn't have actually uh, put on the regalia of the indigenous people of Biafra. Thanks for listening. That is the news.